All right, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Alex. Today's Friday, and we're back inside the house. We're no longer in our film location. Um, that's where I go to film. When I'm tired of the backyard and I'm tired of filming in the house, I usually go to the Grove. It's a public park. That's where I'm allowed to film. Um, now, this YouTube video is going to be a new sports series since the return of baseball and the NBA. What better way to kick off the first episode of my sports series is calling it sex game. I like hot, sexy black women who run track and play basketball and sports. Now, before I start the YouTube video, um, there are some black women who watched my other YouTube video, and I appreciate it, um, but they wanted to express their grievances that they do not like the title of the video of last week's um, sex game. I like older black, white, and Latina women that hit the gym, because I said older, and then I said younger. The younger women didn't really have that much of a problem. They actually understood why I called the title that, but older women feel like that when you say the word older, um, they feel like it's like a sign of disrespect, like like you're saying they're not, they're not physically sexually attractive when I never said that in the video. Some people, when they see the title of the video, they have a negative tendency to react off of a video and i say it all the time watch 15 20 minutes of the video and stop going off the title of the video just because a title of the video is called sex game it doesn't always pertain to sex that's like when you watch a movie called 50 shades of gray all the people who saw the movie 50 shades of gray saw the movie because they wanted to know why you call the title of the movie um, Fifty Shades of Grey, and that gives me an idea for a new video in my film series, why do people react negative off of titles from movies and television shows, it don't just go for YouTube videos, that goes for movies and television shows, you have a lot of men and women who react off of a title of a video and don't use their brain properly, and then wonder why when you try to say hello to your favorite celebrity, they get mad and upset because... If you buy a rap album that disrespect women, something's wrong with you. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just letting you know that if you buy a rap album and it's disrespecting women, something's wrong with you. Because it makes no sense for any YouTube content creator to make a video and then people take it, you know, take highly offense to it. So this one right here is going to be talking about women who do sports. We're going to be talking about running track and playing basketball. There is nothing in this video about sex whatsoever. And if you actually think this video is a cop-out or it's used as a cover, then, then this is the wrong channel for you. This is to show black women in a positive light. Unlike this other individual who just keep talking about black women all day, every day in a negative light, I don't do that here on this channel. Now, some might argue... You did it back in the past. Well, that was a period where I was angry and frustrated. And, you know, I was mad at the world. When you're in your 20s and you don't know what you're doing in your 20s, uh, you say a lot of stuff and you do a lot of stuff that, if, like I said, if I had a time machine, i go back in time and try to fix and undone what I've done. So we're going to try from now on to try to find good titles that don't offend people. But like my mom said, no matter how hard you try, you can never 100% ever satisfy everyone. So, all right. Now, this video is going to be called Sex Game. I like hot, sexy black women that run track and play basketball. I did enough rumbling, so let's get into the video. Now, what I like about black women in general, okay, it doesn't matter if you're tall, short, BBW, young, mature um instead of saying older we're gonna say mature um you guys will tell me on the streets if if, if the video is offensive or not um what i like about black women running track is that it's a competitive sport you know they're strong they're proud black women and they can run like black men will always get respect when it comes to running track but black women can kick ass and take names when it comes to running track and nobody seems to really nobody really talks about that in sports today like when you watch ESPN or you watch Sports Center and you watch all these sports talk show they're always talking about men's sports and 
that's what their channel's for and they're opposed to. But when they do talk about women's sports, they take, excuse me, they take sports that women are known for. But I feel like the only time we take women's sports serious is when we want to, you know, when we want to take a look at them and things of that nature. Sometimes that can come off blatant disrespect. Now, I have a sister that ran track in junior high and in high school. You know, she was pretty good in, you know, pretty good in high school. I also had a girl that had a crush on me at Westchester High School. I talked about it um, once before. Now, here's the funny thing about that. See, when I was in high school, I was never good at running track. I mean, my dad was good at running track. My um, sister was good at running track. I have two sisters. Both my sisters were good at running track. I was terrible at running track. Like, I couldn't run um, if the Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park came. Um, I would not be able to survive against a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, like, T-Rex would get me really fast like that. It'd be over with. Um, I was good at playing basketball, martial arts, weight training. I told you in my last video last week I did swimming. And I got into a lot of fist fights in junior high and high school because I was into comic books, video games, and anime. I wasn't really into playing basketball and football in high school. And it was this one black girl that I found very physically sexually attractive. She played basketball and she ran track. Like, when her basketball practice was over, she went and ran track. When running track was over, she went to basketball practice. And... I would go to all her track meets because my math teacher was the PE coach of the girls' track team. And whenever the first hour and 20 minutes of class was over, we would see her run track. She was like between six feet, six foot one, you know, built like Wonder Woman. And this woman could run. I mean... I feel sorry for the people who would try to rob her because she runs so fast that she didn't just outrun all the girls. I remember one time my PE um, teacher, that was a math teacher, I can't tell you his name because these YouTube videos go viral. And when he sees this video, if he sees it, he'd be like, why are you telling that story from Westchester High School, Alexander Odin? Like, why would you tell that story? Like, why? So I can't tell you his first and last name is to protect his privacy. Like, he might be retired from the high school, but I don't think he wants his information and business out there. You know, I'm just telling you the story of why I find black women who run track and play basketball physically sexually attractive. This whole entire video is about black women, okay? I will then eventually get to Latino women in soccer, and I will get to why I like white women and do volleyball. So everyone's going to get their own video separately, okay? We're doing black women right now in my um, sports series because black women want me to make a fully fledged video that's just about black women. So this video, black women, you're first. OK, proper respect. You show respect, you get respect back in return. So that's what we're on right now. So anyway, I didn't know at the time that she had a crush on me. Come to find out she was on the girls basketball team. Um, she could slam dunk on people. She could block your shot. I remember one time my other homeboy thought he could actually take her in basketball. Um, and it was embarrassing because he got crossed over. He got slam dunked on. And people talked about it for about three weeks. And then um, they started doing comparisons to how tall she was and how tall I was. And, and at that time I had to go to the dentist. You know, things of that nature. When you're young, you don't like to go to the dentist. And your mom tells you you got to go to the dentist and get your teeth fixed. So I had to get my teeth fixed. But in that period, when I was in high school, I would go to all her track meets. And I was amazed that she could just beat everybody. Like, it didn't matter if it was male, female. She just would beat everyone. Every time there was a track meet, she would kick ass. It was Westchester versus um, Dorsey. They get their ass kicked. Um... Westchester versus Hamilton, they get their ass kicked. The only time I think we probably lost was against, um, um, was against, I think, Venice, if they were in our conference. I don't think there was in our conference, but if we did play Venice, we probably would have gotten our ass whooped. 
Um, we would beat Washington. We would beat Jordan High School. All the high school, all the big Division One high schools in running track. We would kick their ass, you know. And at one point, I got invited to to do track, but I turned it down because I don't do track. And people thought I was scared. It was like I, that's not my sport, you know. And and I think somebody found out from ten or fifteen years ago that my dad went to a school called Emanuel Arts High School, perhaps you've heard of it here in California, and they found out that he ran track, and they figured out, because my last name starts with an O, and it was like, did your dad go to Emanuel, Emanuel Arts High School 20 years ago? And I said, yes. And they said, does your last name starts with an O? And I said, yes. And they said, well, uh, we wouldn't want you to try out on the track team. And I said, but I'm not good at track. Like, I'm not that good. And the person that tried to convince me to do it was the girl that had a crush on me. I can't tell you her first and last name because all these videos go viral. And when I say they go viral, that means everyone sees these videos. And when people see these videos, they'll be like, I know Alexander Odin. That's that mother, that's that mother you know what, that be talking trash on the internet and think I don't be seeing his videos. You know, I said hi to him three days or three years ago. He didn't say nothing back. So I have people that watch my videos, people that went to junior high, high school, college, they see my YouTube videos, and when they see me in person, they want to be acknowledged with some class and respect. Um, so basically, I found her very physically sexually attractive. And like I said, I didn't have a problem if she was between six feet to six foot two. I mean, she was fine and good looking for a black girl. And she was dark skinned. See, a lot of black men be doing that light skin, uh, light skin, dark skin bullshit. To me, a black woman is a black woman. It don't matter if she light skin, brown skin, or dark skin, it's still a black woman. You know, when people make a, a, a big deal out of the color, then it's like, what, what, what are you doing? By the end of the day, it's still a black person. You know, now if you date outside your race, that's something completely different. That's what I like about track. She only lost only two times. And track. There was another girl six feet tall that I also had a crush on, but she already had a boyfriend. And that was the only time I ever saw her loss, was them two times in track. Now, let's get to why I find black women very physically sexually attractive when it comes to basketball. When she was playing basketball on the girls' junior varsity team, she would just slam dunk. Like, she could score 15, 20 points. 20 points was her average like, she could easily score 15, 20 points, 10 to 15 blocks. Um, she, she had a strong post-game presence. Um, and one time it was supposed to be the boys versus the girls in basketball. Um, and I wasn't there because each and every single time I'm supposed to, you know, play basketball, I would always go to the dentist. And people just were scratching their head, like, how come every time we finally about to set up this challenge, you got to go to the dentist? Because it was, it was that time frame. Um, and, of course, I went and played basketball at the YMCA, and she had a twin sister that was six feet tall. I had no idea that she had a sister. And her sister was playing basketball at the YMCA three years in a row. And she was good. Um, and then finally one day somebody showed me a picture of her and her sister playing basketball when they were much younger. So naturally, when I go play basketball, I always get hit on by black women that are between 5 foot 11 to 6 feet tall, sometimes 6 foot 2. Like I told you in the last video, I don't have a problem with a woman being that tall. And to me, these are the best two sports I've seen black women dominate. Like if it's track, hands down, black women kick ass in running track. My sister ran track, my other sister ran track, and just about the vast majority of all the black women that I went to junior high and high school with ran track. If it wasn't track, it was basketball. If it wasn't basketball, it was running track. Hands down, these are the best two sports black women are good at. They dominate, they kick ass in. Um, and whenever I played pickup basketball, I got hit on by another black woman um, at a park called Westchester Park and she was like six foot two and she had a crush on me um, and I was the only one that could guard her because everyone else was too scared to guard a black woman that was between six feet to six foot two because they was afraid they was going to get their shot blocked and she was good at blocking people's shots she was good at posting people up she had a strong post game presence 
She had a good jumper. That that was the difference between her and the other girl that went to Westchester, that she had a good jump shot, that she could hit a five to maybe seven footer, and depending on how you play defense, you were not going to be able to block her shot. And she could dunk, but she chose not to. That was the main difference. Homegirl at Westchester, um, you said something stupid. Not only that you got a three hit in your face, you got dunked on, and your homies be like, oh, damn, you got dunked on by a girl. You know, and basically this video was to showcase this. Now, how many times I've been hit on by girls that were tall that play basketball? I'd probably say in 14 years I got hit on by at least 5 out of 10 black women that were between the height of 5 foot 10 to 6 feet tall, sometimes 6 foot 2. Um, now, some people might say, have I ever been, you know, um, beat up in basketball? I'd probably say I've lost maybe three times to a girl between 6 feet to 6 foot 2 because at that time I wasn't playing no strong defense. Um, I got beat over off the dribble. I had a three hit in my face. And then I think 10 minutes later, I came back and bust a three right back. Now we still lost the basketball game because I had messed up my ankle. And then my homeboy, um, he, he, you know, had a allergic reaction to something he ate from Taco Bell. And then he, then he lied to us and told us it wasn't Taco Bell, but it was, it was a taco. And then, he, and then after he had an allergic reaction, he got into an argument with someone in the parking lot, and that's what cost us the basketball game because he was wasting a bunch of time. And then when we wanted a rematch, we didn't get no rematch. Um, of course, you lose. You, 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 know, you know how it goes. You get kicked off the park at the basketball um, court, and you got to sit there for almost an hour to get back onto the court. Um there was another time where I played a fine-ass black girl that was tall in basketball, and that was like four years ago at Venice Beach, California. That is where the best basketball players are at, okay? You want to be the best basketball player? You want to be the best of the best? Venice Beach is where you would go if you want to showcase your skills. My first year, for six months, I got my ass whooped because... Um, the guys were all good. They all can hit three-pointers. They could cross you over. They could post you up. You know, they were good at putting you um, on one side of the court and then making you miss your best shot. Like, every time I went for a three, they would block it and look at me like, what you going to do? And then I remember one time they put a girl on me, and the girl locked me down on defense. Like, she had me shut down to the point where I couldn't even get no three off. I had stole the ball from me. I was like, well, what the hell's going on here? And this girl was six feet, and this girl was just hitting threes. Um, and then I think maybe towards the end of the year, I played her in a rematch, and I finally was able to lock her down on defense. Um, and then come to find out, she let me lock her down on defense, and she smiled like, I let you um, lock me down on defense to make you play better. So sometimes when you play women in basketball, they go they they go make it to where you're gonna have to play your best game, you know. And track, like I said, I watch track. I don't care if it's track in high school, track in college. Well, high school and college are a little different, but I'm telling you the story because when you look at the title of the YouTube video, you're gonna wonder why is it called Sex Game. I like hot, sexy black women that run track and play basketball. So my experiences in high school was every time I played basketball, the black woman was always tall and fine looking. And when I would go to her track meets, I would see them. Now, when I got into college, I didn't see too many black women run track that much. I mean, when I did, it was at West LA College. All the black girls were short, and all the black girls that could run track started playing basketball. So when I started watching the girls' basketball team at West LA College, I would see maybe two or three girls that were tall, and that was it. It wasn't until I left and went to, I think, Santa Monica College for one semester. Um, they had a good track team, and I seen one of their tracks, and guess what? It was a black girl six foot tall smiling at me, but I never really had a chance to speak to her because I was there for one semester and then it was time to go back to Los Angeles City College. 
where they had a girls basketball team. And every time I went into the basketball court at L.A. City College, I would see the girls, the whole entire girls basketball team at L.A. City College were all six feet. And we dominated in that conference, you know. But, you know, they broke up the program because, you know, they weren't getting enough money and things of that nature. So this video was... 100% devoted to black women, okay? So, I like black women that run track. I like black women that play basketball. So, they play these sports. I find them very physically, sexually attractive. So, this video is for black women. So, if you're a black woman, it don't matter if you're tall, short, BBW, young, or mature. See, I said the word mature because some have already expressed to me behind the scenes they don't like the word older, so I'm going to say mature. So when you see the video, it lasts for at least 20 minutes. So at least watch 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes of the video before you just come to the conclusion. We're talking about why I like women that play basketball and run track. So I'll find better titles to try to explain the subject matter so that way people can go, okay, he made a video that makes a whole lot of sense. So until then, peace.